After weeks of game-breaking bugs, Marvel's Avengers Game Update 1.3.0 addresses many issues that have plagued the game. Developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Square Enix, Marvel's Avengers video game was released on September 4 to much hype. Initial reviews of the game have been somewhat tepid but not because of bad gameplay, rather the fact that the game was written with bugs. Outrage over the bug situation is further compounded by the fact that the game had a long and large open beta test period where gamers were able to make the developers aware of most of the bugs. The game was subsequently released on schedule seemingly without most of the issues being fixed. I shudder to think how bad the bugs might have been if the game was released at its original date in March but it was delayed because of the current coronavirus pandemic. As it is, the game still feels unfinished but the problems are slowly being sorted out. A large patch of 10 gigabytes has been released by Crystal Dynamics that addresses some of the most severe bugs that were crippling people's games, including my own. Infinite loading screens, fabrication machine issues and disappearing units are some of the more annoying bugs that have been fixed with the new update. Some people, myself included, were getting an infinite loading screen when trying to access the main story campaign. Another bug that I and other people were subjected to was the fabrication machine not awarding costumes when using a pattern. Given that patterns are hard to come by and much emphasis is placed on acquiring alternate costumes for our heroes, this was one of the more infuriating issues. Another main issue, one which I haven't been the victim of was having units, the in-game currency, disappearing after hitting the 35,000 limit cap. To get around this, Crystal Dynamics has implemented a rather telling workaround by increasing the cap to 65,000. So, what happens when you reach 65,000 units? This indicates to me that there is either a severe issue with the way the game handles units or, or the developers are forcing users to spend their units on in-game cosmetic items. Each of these is equally as scary. Also, given that most gamers will pay real-world money for units makes this unacceptable. The patch has also fixed many other minor issues such as animation synchronization, texture clipping and audio issues. Gamers who like to play with others online might be pleased to know that the matchmaking cooldown period has been adjusted to just 4 seconds. This will allow you to get back into the game much more quickly. Not all amendments to the game will be welcomed by everyone though. Some features have seemingly been nerfed such as pattern awards for some missions, legendary drops and polycoron awards. Crystal Dynamics has stated that some of these were actually bugs and that a number of missions awarding them were never meant to. This is bad news for grinders who might have been taking advantage of the bugs in order to farm extra resources. The game's difficulty appears to have also been adjusted as adaptoids are reportedly no longer as aggressive and will spawn in smaller groups. The game was also made more difficult by large groups of high-level spawning which were very difficult to beat. This issue has also been addressed and should no longer occur, rather one or two challenging enemies will spawn instead as part of large groups. Patch 1.3.0 not only addresses issues though as the update has added in new Mega Hives to the game. Mega Hives work just like normal hives however there is a weekly mission chain attached that must be completed in order to get the full rewards. While this sounds easy enough, there is a caveat that makes it a little more difficult. Your heroes will not have infinite lives when running through Mega Hives as once a hero is downed, they are downed permanently for the rest of the Mega Hive mission chain. Each link in the Mega Hive mission chain also increases in difficulty with each mission. To be honest though, Mega Hives aren't too difficult for gamers familiar with the combat system and will only really be a challenge for lower level heroes. A good tip is to level up your hero power levels as equally as possible in order to create the best strike team. While the game has gotten off to a shaky start, this latest patch shows that the developers are taking notice of feedback and starting to go in the right direction. Much more content has been promised for years by Crystal Dynamics including Spring 2021's Spider-Man update for PS4 gamers. 
Marvel's Avengers is available now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC.